Okay, for this scramble, the the center, the first center is actually a little bit tricky. There's no really obvious options for solving our first center. Um, so the one center which has a solved edge piece is this one. And I notice I've got this block here as well. And I notice I've got these two green edge pieces, green edge centers over here. So what I can do is something like F prime or F, sorry, L prime U L and then U L prime like that to create the first two by three. Then I've got this piece, this piece and this one. So I can do something like U F slice slice and insert it into the back there. Now my second center isn't easy at all. Um, I've got this one and this one and this one. So I can do something like that and then use these two to create a two by two block there. Then I'm going to go for this one and this one. Extend the two by two block, then these two and this one down here. Then I'm going to flip and hmm, there's a, what can I do here? I guess I might go for the orange center here because I don't see anything good at all on the red or the yellow faces, but I do see that I have some pieces solved on the orange center. So let's just go for, we've already got this one by three line on the orange, so I can attach this one to these two like that, and then do F wide L prime like so. Then I'll attach this one and this one. And then my last orange centerpiece is unfortunately back here. So I'll have to do something like an L2 and then undo the L2 move. Now um, I've got, hmm, I've got these two, these two, and these two. So I can do something like R U R prime, U prime, R U R prime, move it across. And actually before I solve my last three yellow centerpieces, I notice that if I do a wide R U R prime like that, I can solve this two by three block over here. So now I can just use R and U moves to pair up my last three yellow center pieces and then uh, actually, yeah, pair, pair up those last three yellow center pieces and then that won't affect this two by three block on red. So I'll solve it like that. Then for this last center, I can do something like R U prime slice U R prime U prime and then probably slice back. So for my first edge piece, this is, a, yeah, finding the first edge piece is never fun. Um, I guess an efficient one would be the blue and yellow. So I've got this, these two and this one. So I can do something like that to, to solve it into this position. And as I was doing that, the orange and, uh, sorry, the green and red ones were here, here, and here. So those are solved now. And as I was doing that, these uh, red and blues got solved, but I see that there's no third red and blue edge piece up here or back here. So I'm gonna flip and find the red and blue, which is here, solve it. Then as I was doing that, I saw the orange and blue ones. So I'm gonna insert those, replace, flip, and slice back to solve the orange and blue. Then, I notice I've got these two, so I'm going to work on solving these two, but there's no, the last orange and green edge piece isn't here, nor is it in the middle layer, so I'm going to flip back, and it's actually up here. So slice to solve it, and as I did that, these two uh, white and orange ones came here, and this last white and orange one is here. So solve like that. And actually these white and red ones came, were back here now. So I can do U, R, U prime, R prime, slice. And then probably what I would do, I know that I still need to solve one more edge onto the bottom face here. So I'm just gonna take that out randomly, flip it over. And then because I've already solved seven edges, look ahead will be pretty easy for the last one. So I've got the orange and, orange and yellows here, here, and here, which are just solvable with some easy slice moves like that, take it out, and then restore my centers. Now, after doing that, there's only one place where, a, where a, a midge is attached to a wing, which is here, and it's flipped incorrectly. So the last one is over here, the white and blue. So I'm gonna do a U2 like that, 
slice, flip, slice back. Now for my last three edges, there is no midge attached to any wings. So I'm just going to do an M prime U2 M like that, and then I'll get something. So now I have here this one and these two. So I'm going to slice, flip, and then slice back. Now I have a situation where I have the midge attached to both wings here, but they're both flipped. So what I'm going to do is um, slice this one to replace it, flip it, and slice back. And now I have this parity case, so I just have edge parity. And then I'm going to go on and solve my 3x3 three three stage. So I've got the white cross, which is pretty easy. Then I can solve this F2L pair. Then I'll rotate and solve this F2L pair. Solve this F2L pair into the back. And then solve this F2L pair. Then I have OLL. And PLL. Okay, for the second example solved in this video, I'm going to start on the green side because we already have this 1x3 line completed. And what I can do is use these two pieces and this one to create another 1x3 line like that, and then insert it into my green layer. Now I'm going to attach these two like that, and then bring them to, uh, so they're connected here on the same face, and then attach them to the last edge center of green, and then put them down like that. Now what I'm going to do here is just attach this blue edge center like that to create a one by three on blue, and then I've actually got this 1x3 blue bar here solved already. So I can just insert it into the blue layer like that. Now I've got this piece, this piece, and this piece. So what I can do is something like, so I've got this one here, this one here, this one here. U prime, L2, U2, L2, like that. And then insert it into the blue layer. Now I'm going to rotate. And I guess the first thing that I see here are the, is that there's this 2 by uh, there's this block on orange, and I can do the orange 1 by 3 line in one move, like that. And I also notice that I've got these two and this one, so I can do something like L prime, F, L prime, like that. So now I've got this 2 by 3 block on orange. I can rotate this way and solve the last three orange pieces like this. So I'm going to solve this edge center and this corner center with R2, U prime, R2. And then I'm going to do a U2, attach them together, and then do a U prime, R2 prime, like that. Now, hmm, the white center is not going to be easy at all. Um, I guess what I can do is solve these two and this one, like that. And then if I get two centers opposite one another here on this face, I can do something like M2, U, M2 to solve this middle line. So that was a little bit more complicated, and but that's something that's useful in tricky situations like that. Then I'm going to solve the last 1 by 3 on white, then solve a 2 by 3 on red, so I can use these two and these two and these two, like that, and then finish off the red center, like so. The first thing that I see after finishing off the centers is that these two and this one can be solved in just one move, like so. Then um, I see you've got the white and orange and the white and orange here. So I'm going to pair those up and then look for the third white and orange piece, which is on the bottom face here. So I had to flip over. Then I can solve those. Um, and I guess the next thing that I'll look for, hmm, it's yeah, it's sometimes tricky. Um, I can go for the blue and red. So I've got this one here and this one here. Slice and the last blue and red one is here. So I can flip and then slice again. Now again it's it's quite tricky. Okay I see in the back here that I've got the uh, the red and yellow. I've got a two by two block, uh, sorry a, a midge and a wing paired on red and yellow and the last red and yellow one is up here. 
So I'm going to bring it to the front and solve it at the same time. Then I notice I've got this one and this one. So those are solved now. And the last, um, <clears throat> the last orange and green piece isn't in the top, nor is it in the middle. So I'm going to flip over and the last orange and green piece is here. Slice, uh, flip, uh, insert, slice, and then figure out what to do next. Um, I see this block in the back here. So that's the white and green. So I'm just going to take this out randomly because I don't really care because I've got this white and green one over here. So after I solve those, then I can take this out to take this one out productively. I've got these two blue and yellows, this blue and yellow. Slice. And then because it's the last edge that I'm going to be inserting onto this layer, I'll just take it out and then flip over and I only need to solve one more edge. And I guess I could go for multiple different options here. Uh, a simple one would just be to do the uh, green and yellow. So that would be to flip this piece like so, and then replace it, and then resolve my centers. Now, my first, uh, my fourth last edge, I'm going to do these two and this one and these two, which is just simply, simply slice, flip, slice back like so. Now I can solve these two very easily with this one by doing something like m prime u2 m. And then I'm onto my last two edges. And uh, I have this case where, uh, the, the same case again, where I've got uh, a flipped pair and a flipped pair. So I'm going to solve them like that. So solve one of the pairs by slicing, flipping, and slicing back. And then I've got edge parity here. I'm going to work on my white cross. These two F2L, this, these two F2L pieces. Then these two F2L pieces. Then these two. And then these two. Then I've got OLL. And then a T permutation for PLL.